Welcome to A New View. We are so glad you joined us. This is our third episode this week, and we still have our guest and friend, Kristen Bonin, with us. She is the author of an amazing book, Bare Naked Truths. I'm telling you, this book is so awesome. If you caught episode one and two, I'm sure you already ran out and had to get a copy of Mm -hmm. this. So don't forget, too, we're going to have a little giveaway on our Facebook page when we share the replay links, and we're going to have an opportunity so you can pick up a free copy of Bare Naked Truths, um, maybe through a contest we're going to have. But I, we just love this book, Kristen. Yes, I we mean, do. It's amazing. And we talked a little bit about the nuggets in your book. Mm-hmm. Last episode, we really unpacked a little bit more about fear and what fear mm-hmm. can do. And this episode, we're going to talk about something that maybe is not so popular. Nope. Oh, it's no. popular. No. We just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it yes. We want to talk about everything else. Yes. But. Exactly. Exactly. So on page 42 of your book, you have an, a chapter of unwholesome talk. And I know on the way here, we shared about my kids and I, a few years ago, we did March Mouth Month, and we Mm -hmm. hashtagged and did all these things on Twitter and Facebook about using worthy words and Mm -hmm. having, you know, the verses talking about your mouth and all these things, but... That's a um, good challenge. I know. And then we're on Matthew. We should all do that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And they'll even call me on it now. Is that a worthy word, Mother? (laughs) No, it's not. Sorry. I got a word for you, son. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. But also in Matthew, we're doing Matthew... Mm -hmm. And we're on Matthew 12, and Matthew 12, 36 has a great verse in there that says, yeah. we'll have to give an account for every idle word we speak. And mm-hmm. so I know, I'm like, who in a given day, I speak a lot of idle mm-hmm. words. Yeah, I speak with slang. I just I like to talk. I mean, so there's a lot of idle words spoken. But on this chapter, Unwholesome Talk, Kristen, tell us a little mm-hmm. bit about, I mean, your tagline for this verse. I mean, this this whole chapter I'm talking about, mm-hmm. Unwholesome Talk, it's day eight in her devotional on page 42, and it says, those who reserve their words preserve their character. Mm, I so love that. Powerful. That is so powerful and so good. But tell us a little bit about um, this chapter and kind of why you wanted to share with people maybe about unwholesome talk. I think that un- unwholesome talk is kind of a silent killer and that we don't realize the damage that our words, mm-hmm. can, the, the havoc that, they, that it could wreak. And, and it's just, I spent a lot of my life growing up, um, and I, I mean, I think you could just call me a gossip. I just, I just let things fly all the time. There wasn't ever much of a filter and I very rarely even felt convicted about it. I mean, it was just something that when there's so much insecurity stored up in your heart and in your soul, sometimes momentarily, it just feels good to be a fault finder and to point out things in other Mm -hmm. people so that it kind of um, shifts the attention to the things in your own spirit that mm-hmm. you need to deal with mm-hmm. and it's a southern thing it, 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 it is a little <laughs> bit of a southern thing because i had a grandmother yeah. and this was funny and i remember i mean visions when you were mm-hmm. sharing that i remember as a kid and she would get on the phone and i have a really close friend we've been really good friends since we were about five years old and our grandmothers were friends <clears throat> and our How grandmothers funny. would get on the phone together and they would talk oh, about go, so go, my go. you know they would go 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 and they basically gossiped i mean all that you can yeah. hear them both on the phone yeah and it was funny and so i think you know, it is kind of a Southern thing. I don't really yeah. have a, a filter. Um, and God's really convicted yeah. me of that mm-hmm. even if something is true, Michelle, and it's true and you're sharing yeah. truths, it can still fall under the lines of unwholesome and yeah. gossip. It can. Yeah. It absolutely yeah. can. Sure. And unwholesome, it just doesn't mean, you know, not saying bad words. Right. It doesn't, you know, doesn't mean, you know, talking negativity or grumbling. We mm-hmm. used to do this little challenge. We had those little uh, stretch bracelets, mm-hmm. and it was grumble-free, yes. and you had to pop it if you <laughs> grumbled. And, 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 things. So and, and it was funny because my kids that recently, they were like, grumble-free, you know. We were laughing. You're all over here. I got a swollen wrist. And, and like, <laughs> red mark. Worthy words. But that, that is so funny. Talk doesn't isn't just profanity. It isn't right. just gossip. It isn't just negativity right. it's a whole lot of things a encompassing whole that lot of things i mean we're talking about criticism we're talking about lying i could get going all day long on flattery mm-hmm. and so it's all encompassing on words that we're speaking um, that are not meant to honor God, but are mainly meant to point to on- the honor to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And spiritual manipulation. Yes. Like we were talking about that flattery, yes. especially churches and different things like that. We're, um, we're told certain things, you know, just kind of butter us up. 
Exactly. Butter us up. Exactly. But that's spiritual manipulation. That's yeah. really, you know. Absolutely. And yeah. it's when we're using our words to get what we want. Right. Yeah. Not what the Lord wants. Mm -hmm. And so that's, it's, it's, I think that's it's good. such, <laughs> it's, it's such a thing that we can try to fly under the radar and think that it's really not that big of a deal, but it's a huge deal. It's yeah. a very unholy thing to do. It's not yeah. Christ-like. No. Yeah. No. It was interesting. I looked up a couple of things. I, don't, I think I read some of this from an article. But I found this line to be really good, and it goes along with what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Some people traffic information so much that their identity literally becomes that of a gossip. Yes. And then the definition mm -hmm. of a gossip is a person who habitually reveals personal or sensational facts about others. Mm -hmm. The tendency to gossip is part of human nature, yes. especially mm -hmm. for us, mm -hmm. for women. We're chatty. And taming the tongue requires God's help help yes, yes it does and I thought about this because I was thinking about this yesterday and um, I can think of like instances with my friends or relationships I've been in with before and I felt like my girlfriends and I would get together and we would talk and eat mm -hmm. and whatever and then it would turn into shredding one of our other yep. friends or frenemy or whatever and and I'm thankful that those seasons have passed with with oh, you know different friends or whatever but that doesn't mean it's not yeah. gone. If you yeah. have a new set of friends, right. if you're still part, if you still have that behavior in your life, right. then mm -hmm. you do it with other people. But, yeah. um, and I thought about, oh, well, maybe that's just come with, you know, as we mature, we mm -hmm. stop gossiping. No. no. Mm -mm. It requires spiritual maturity. Exactly. Yes. And it requires God coming in and helping us. And I, what I'll experience is, because I know gossiping is wrong, mm -hmm. and I'll still have right. my moments, oh, yeah. I'll feel grieving of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. And I'll feel that, oh, I, I wish I wouldn't have said, said that. that. I, w I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't mm -hmm. have. And again, I always bring this back to my kids. I always bring this back to Sophia, because we'll have conversations. And I'll tell her, they're only in the fifth grade. Our girls are in mm -hmm. the fifth grade. And it's, they're little. They're trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. I told her kind of what this line talks about. You don't want to constantly be relaying information or right. talking about someone yes. that then you get labeled a gossip. Like, right. I love that you're able to say about mm -hmm. yourself that you've struggled with mm -hmm. that. Absolutely. How many women are actually going to be like, well, I'm a gossip. I've struggled right. with it. Right. You know, because that takes a lot. That takes courage, mm -hmm. but it takes being vulnerable and mm -hmm. realizing that it is an area you're struggling with. Yes. Um, and and I just think grieve. it's important. Yeah, it, it does. does grieve God. Oh, yes. It does. It because does. you know that feeling inside of you when you know that you're that it's not um, the best thing to do, and when you've done it, you're like, oh, yeah. I feel I feel bad. You mm -hmm. know, that wasn't cool. That wasn't. And mm -hmm. you and I take you take it to God, or mm -hmm. I take it like to my friend, where if we've both been talking and it gets into gossip, and I'm like, yeah. man, I wish I wouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. right. You know, mm -hmm. or you know, like that whole line that says, you know, if they're talking. Um, to you they're probably talking about, about you, you. Oh. and and I know and like recently I was very vocal on Facebook um, even before we planned that this mm -hmm. show or, or, or that we were going to talk about unwholesome talk and right. gossip um, I was you know just kind of releasing the day stuff to the Lord and kind of doing that and saying you know is there anything that didn't bring you glory today is there yes. anything search my heart mm -hmm. and yes. he brought gossip and I'm like I used to struggle with gossip I haven't really struggled with God I mean when did I gossip? And he pointed out actually two situations and I was relaying truth. I was relaying mm -hmm. that this did happen. So I wasn't speaking, mm -hmm. but he also reminded me that just because it's true, you don't need to share it. Right. Yeah, you don't really good. need to share mm -hmm. it. And then, um, there was a second situation. I actually called, um, the people that were involved and actually before I even, you know, blogged about it or shared it online, I said, I have to apologize. I said, I really feel like our conversation crossed the line into, yeah. into gossip. And they were like, no, you didn't gossip. Mm -hmm. What were you talking? What do you mean? But you knew for and yourself. I said, I yeah. said, and so I explained to them, I said, I know we were sharing, you know, commonalities experiences, but I felt like my heart was not just sharing there wasn't a wow. reason to share mm -hmm. this. That's my heart good. shared it, but there was some yuckiness yes. in my attached heart to it. Yes. attached to it that I felt like the Lord said, this is gossip. Yes. And they were like, wow. But that's how, I mean, he does yeah. to us. I mean, he's so gracious. I mean, he doesn't sit there, didn't mm -hmm. say before I went to bed and said, you ran your mouth, Michelle. Right. He, that. he just said, oh, search your heart a little bit more. Right. Like, you I'm like, oh. And at first I was like, I don't think I did. And that's where he really showed me that 
gossip doesn't do anything. You're right. I mean, even if it's true, it's not life affirming. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what your book says on page 44. It says words speak life into people or they limit it. Mm -hmm. Intentionally surround yourself with truth tellers because speaking truth is powerful. And I love that. But you can also surround yourself with people that are professed truth tellers. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. But they're yes. not, they're saying it because they're trying to get their insecurities out. Yeah. And they're just saying, well, I'm going to tell you the truth. You may not like it, but I don't yeah. like this or so that about you. Yes. And things, yeah. but they're yeah. not, they, there's still a yuckiness in their heart. I mean, that's not a true yeah. truth teller. But when you can be with, with vulnerable women and you can be with people and you can say, hey, that's not the best for you. That, yeah. you know, right. that yeah. you're, that, that's what you want someone to say, hey, I think you, you might be, you need to go back to that. Mm-hmm. You've got a little resentment over mm-hmm. that. That or yes. you, you know, you're still, you know, yeah. I sound like you still got some woundings there. That's a true tooth teller. Right. Yeah. You're not somebody that just machine gun, you know, yes. all over you, <laughs> yes. you know, and, uh, and yeah. you're like, well, you know, right. how, what do I do with that? But I yes. love that, you know, words speak life and there they is a, there's scientific proof because, you know, Stephanie shares about she loves the scientific proof, but mm-hmm. there are actual studies where they take water crystal, you know, water, oh, yeah. and how when you speak life that. to water, it you know, mm-hmm. shows these beautiful water yeah. crystals that almost represent snowflakes. They have mm-hmm. beautiful um, intrinsic, is that how you say that? Details, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. just so beautiful. And then you have where you're just, you know, cursing them or saying really negative things to them, and it just looks like gunk. Mm-hmm. It's real dark and mm-hmm. black. And so there's scientists that have done you know, studies that also with plants, you know, mm-hmm. you can speak to your plant and, and your plant will grow. But if mm-hmm. you're saying negativity, the plant will wither and mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. Well, Absolutely. I love in here too, you talk about, and this is a longer paragraph, so I don't want to read the whole thing, but I almost am like, oh, I need to. But the words we choose tend to say a lot about us. Yes. And you said, have you ever heard the old saying, what Sally says about Susie says more of Sally than right. it does of Susie. Exactly. And it's true. Yes. You know, it really, really is true. And it says all words have a source. The scripture is Luke 6, 41. What you say flows from what is in your heart. Yes. And I think about, mm-hmm. I tend to be, I can be a little bit sensitive. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily, I can take some criticism and, um, and I'm fine with that when it's constructive. But mm-hmm. if I feel like you're maybe tapping right. on something that maybe I'm struggling with, right. I might be over, overly sensitive about it. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm learning to, you know, look at, well, is what that, where, you know, what is the motive or what is right. the heart right. condition of what this person is saying to me right. instead of just embracing it? Like you've mm-hmm. talked right. about, you know, you need to, we need to filter the opinions of the other others. people yes, exactly. and not just follow them, not mm-hmm. just accept them. And I'm learning that, that. We have to look at, you know, if we have a friend or a loved one or a person that's constantly rattling off these things at us, yes. fault finding. don't fault finding. don't take it personal. And right. that doesn't mean we need to go and tell them, oh, you do, you do this and do that. Mm-hmm. Just know, guard your heart. That's right. You know, and know that this may be coming from a place that has nothing right. to do with you. Absolutely. And I think if we knew that as women, when we interacted with um, our friends, mm-hmm. right. sometimes our friends, it, it sucks to have to say that. Oh, sometimes our true, friends though. hurt yeah. us. Yeah. Right. Our loved ones, um, mm-hmm. other moms that we might interact with right. at school right. or right. any yep. situation. If you can, you know, pray and ask God, Lord, show me, you know, sh- you know, whatever. Just show me a love for people and mm-hmm. help me see people the way that mm-hmm. you do. Yeah. And if you feel that you're being criticized or you're taken the wrong way or whatever, Lord, show me what your truth is. Help right. me not take these mm-hmm. things to heart. I was sharing with Sophia about guarding your heart. We have mm-hmm. to guard our hearts. Right, and this right. this comes from, you know, if you are someone who is at the re- receiving end of, a, of unwholesome talk or mm-hmm. someone's constantly on you or whatever, protecting yourself from that. Right. Or if you're someone who's the, the one doing it, yes. Lord, get mm-hmm. in here and fix my heart. Right. You right. know, and you don't have to tell all of your friends, hey, I'm struggling with gossip. Please help me. You right. can. But you can go to the Lord quietly right. as yeah. well and say, can you please help me? And I hope that yes. that we have that revelation as women. I think we'll be better for, for me it. To, to, ex- to expound on that thought, guarding your heart. I know uh, there's sometimes girls, there's just stuff we got to get off our chest yeah. right. and we just need to talk it out with a trusted friend. Yeah. And so how do you draw the line and the boundaries between what's acceptable or what's not? That's well, what's good. not acceptable is for us to sit at a table and put somebody else's character as the center of our, as, as the center of our that topic. Right. But what is acceptable is to put mine and yes. to say, Hey, this happened and I'm really hurting. Will you speak to this? Mm. We're not talking. I don't need you to sit and talk about them. I mean, they like they've left the conversation. They're gone. We're, that's not right. even a 
for debate anymore. Mm -hmm. But what is That's up good. debate is what I'm experiencing right now. Yeah. And I call those girls in my life STT sisters. Speak to this sisters. Like okay, I just, good. this is what I'm experiencing. This is what's going on in me. Can you help me dissect what's going on in my own heart that I would have yeah. this kind of reaction? Yes, right, and that's, that's good. good. That's mm -hmm. really good because that's what we want. I mean, like sharing with a, a trusted friend yes. mm -hmm. and knowing, you know, don't don't cross the line. But yes. we do need those. We do mm -hmm. need to say, hey, this is how I reacted, or I thought of this. Yes. Kind of, I think of um, an example with Kim. You know, as you probably noticed, you know, Kim has the week off this week, but she was Wait, sharing. <laughs> she was sharing with something that with us that someone had spoken to her. And she really took that and it was kind mm -hmm. of trying, she was trying to filter that, but she had a reaction yeah. and we were, we, we were redirected and we helped her to see, like you have to filter that. Yeah. Don't accept, mm -hmm. you know, right. what other people say is mm -hmm. our truth. Yes. You know, and we didn't have to bash anybody else. We didn't, we Absolutely. just had to look at her Absolutely. as right. a person exactly. and what she was taking right. away from what was mm -hmm. said mm -hmm. and speaking truth to her. Absolutely. Yeah. That's good. That's a good and example. I, exactly. And I love how we talk to, in, in, in your book, you talk about, you know, will I find more satisfaction in being right or mm. righteous? That's and a lot good. of times we may be <laughs> right, but a lot of times we just need to be quiet. We yeah. just need to be quiet that, that, you know. I don't need to do that. Let yes. God fight our battles yes. for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I know, you know, just not just gossip and things like that, unwholesome talk, but I did have an, an area, and my kids will laugh because sometimes, like, the old mom will come out and I'll get a little stressed, but I did not have a filter, and I mm -hmm. was a person that I did use profanity, and mm -hmm. I have a, a tendency once in a while, little things yeah. will slip out. Me too. Um, and, and I know that it's it's not right, and uh, it's so much better. Mm -hmm. And thankfully, I had really strong kids, and they never took that to heart. But I grew up, and I had um, people in my life. I had a grandmother that didn't have any filter. It was the same grandmother that actually gossiped. But you know, <laughs> Go um, but, it, uh, but but she <laughs> did not have a filter. And so I grew up learning that you just don't have a filter. You just say whatever mm -hmm. you want. If it's a bad word, so be it or whatever. Right. Just da -da -da -da. This comes and out. things just comes out and it flies and that. But knowing that her words wound us oh, and I was yes. wounded a lot by the words that she said yes. and that's what shaped me as a person that kind of stuffed my emotions because mm -hmm. if I did find my voice and say hey I don't agree right. with that it was like she was also she could wield a fly water like nobody's right. business mm -hmm. you know so then I learned not to say like I disagree with right. you because I was gonna get the fly water but also but saying you know <laughs> Those w words wounded me, and I thought, wow. And so I remember when my kids were younger, and I was such a control freak. Mm -hmm. And I really, like, if I asked them to do something, if they weren't doing it to my liking or as fast as yep. I thought they would do it, I would find fault. Mm -hmm. And I remember one day, my daughter, she has such wisdom, and she looked at me, and she was probably maybe seven years old, and she said, are you going to let me do it, or are you just going to tell me how wrong I'm doing it or something? Oh, and that just really like yeah. that was like light bulb yeah. like the holy yeah. spirit saying are you gonna shut up are you gonna <laughs> shut up, shut up? Yeah. and i was like you're absolutely right and yes. a lot of times we we will say things and thinking that our kids are not taking this mm -hmm. and it was and i knew that i when i said those things i knew my daughter was strong and she could take them but when i really could see my son's demeanor changed mm. and i was fault fine i was yeah. like wow I didn't realize that, right. you know, I, I love you. I hope you know I love you. I mean, just because I say, you know, that's not right. You know, and so it really made me start looking at the positives. Mm -hmm. yeah. What am I going to speak? Kind of like yes. your what ifs chapter we talked mm -hmm. about, you know, the hypotheticals are not our friends, but yeah. if we can change the what ifs, kind of like the fault findings, you know, let's find yeah. the beauty. Let's mm -hmm. find the gems that this is what I love mm -hmm. about you. And this is what we, mm -hmm. and things don't have to be done perfectly. Right. No, you yeah, know, they never like, really are. You know, like, <laughs> especially Christmas time. I had somebody the other day was talking about, oh, I try to let my kids hang, hang ornaments, but it, it just yes. freaks me yeah. out. And, da, 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 and I get so, I'm You're like, like, girl, let it go. I'm like, let it go. Yeah. Let it go. You know, yeah. you know, they're only small for yeah. such a, a, a right. time. And just yeah. really, you know, those things don't have, there doesn't have to right. be perfect ornament placement. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't. You yeah. know? Well, I think, in, and even if we apply that same um, approach with our marriages, mm -hmm. you know, and not fault finding in our spouses and mm -hmm. not, yes. you know, because mm -hmm. you, I'm, Jeff and I have joked around too, like where we've gone, we'll have, we have date night regularly thankfully but we'll sit at a dinner table with a couple and we're hanging out and and we've been on that side too where mm -hmm. like we might be 
annoyed with something with each other and we haven't dealt with it. And mm -hmm. so, but when you're with a couple and they're kind of like just picking and picking and you're like, oh, you know, they need mm -hmm. to have a talk, right. you know, yes. and it's like, we yes. know that because we've yeah. been there right. and it's just little things like in any relationship, mm -hmm. like you're talking about right. with your children mm -hmm. or with even friends or, mm -hmm. um, I just think, cause we go to the same, our kids are in the same school. Mm -hmm. I'm like with, with teachers or what, whatever, right. if we had mm -hmm. that grace enough to just you know, not fault find so much. Absolutely. And the fact that you have an awareness of it doesn't right, mean right, we don't, yeah. that we'll never struggle with it mm -hmm. again. It's right. just an awareness mm -hmm. and, a, and the grieving of the Holy Spirit will come and you'll feel it. And then you'll know, oh, okay, I got to get back in, mm -hmm. yes. back in my lane. Is yes. what I like to say too. Absolutely. Like gossip we were trying to, I mean, a lot of times, um, in, in recovery, we have a, a little saying, it says gossip has no place among us. That's mm -hmm. what we say kind of in the mm -hmm. intro. And I love that because a lot of times too, in prayer request mm -hmm. or in certain settings <laughs> as you, yes. that that seems to be and then like I, we even deal with it you know and our th you know somebody will start and and actually they could be just getting off their mm -hmm. chest about their loved ones or whatever they're struggling with but it crosses that yeah. fine line yes. yeah. of you know that's just that's mm -hmm. you know that's not fixing things you know I think yeah. really stepping back and asking yourself what is my motive for mm -hmm. saying this right mm -hmm. why am I saying what I'm saying and is it even fruitful Right. Yeah. It's going to change what, what words fly out of your mouth. Exactly. Yeah. And in my instance, like I said, where God said you were gossiping, I'm like, oh, I was just sharing the truth, this and that. But in my heart, mm -hmm. when he said, dig deeper, mm -hmm. <laughs> dig deeper, a little bit deeper. And I could see that I shared that this person had been extremely wounded mm -hmm. in ministry w with a relationship. And I'd been also wounded by some nasty words this person had said. So I was sharing, well, yeah, that person did this to me, yeah. us and that, you know. Consider the fruit, consider the source, right. you know, snap. and it wasn't anything. We didn't go and, and bash that right. character or do anything like that. But God said, yeah, but your heart wasn't right. You were kind of right. like, oh, yeah. how dare they? They That's wounded so my true. friend. They wounded me yes. too. Let me tell you what they did to me yes. and things. That's. That's unwholesome talk. That's gossip. That's check. Need to check my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's good stuff. Absolutely. Good. And I love to. You said you know make let our words count. Oh yeah. You know, yeah. especially you're a writer. I'm mm -hmm. a writer. You're thinking of keeping word counts and blogging yes, and exactly. all that. And you're like, oh, and then I see my kids that are in college and they're doing you know their papers and my son's like I have to have this many words yes. and you know counting words in those aspects. But really, mm -hmm. letting our words count on right. a day-to-day -day basis yeah. you know yes. are they are they really giving life and, and choosing them wisely right and especially you know so i mean i love to talk i love you know that, but sometimes it i really need to share that you right. know do i really need to have a um rebuttal not really a rebuttal i guess that's not the right word but do i or really have, have, to have a response, response. do i have right. to really have a response i love yes. to come back to that holy hush mm -hmm. yes i love that holy hush sometimes we just need a holy hush we don't really have to have a response yes right. choosing them wisely <laughs> another thing i'm teaching sophia and i are talking about just just that you know that there doesn't always have to be a response, response yeah. but it's mm -hmm. a balance too because i want her to still have her voice right but it's right. such a balance mm -hmm. it really is um i do like and hear how you have it um, on page 46 and remember those who hold their tongue are held in higher esteem yes mm -hmm. that's the, it goes back mm -hmm. to the beginning mm -hmm. where you say those who reserve their words yes. preserve their character, character. That's so true. and the scripture that talks about godless yeah. chatter Mm -hmm. Lord, show yes. me where I have a lot of godless God, chatter. chatter. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's so we're, we're never, we're never um, even in this series in particular, like we're not aiming for perfection. No. 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 We're mm -hmm. just aiming at doing life better. And then it's Absolutely. more enjoyable. Exactly. Your relationships mm -hmm. are more, they're better. They're more joyful. They're more protected right. without really having mm -hmm. to guard so mm -hmm. much but just being more aware mm -hmm. and um, letting God do his work right mm -hmm. and when you're not betraying someone's confidences I mean I've always been like um, uh, I'm I was a secret keeper I kept my yeah. own secrets I kept other people's secrets sometimes they are detrimental mm -hmm. and we have to release the yeah. secrets mm -hmm. is what we share at restored ministries on the release to be restored but betraying your confidences mm -hmm. and I know that I was in a relationship with someone and it was so sad because about once a week that person would say um, oh yeah I'm sorry I shared with what you shared with me to this person and I'd be like why are you sharing right. my stuff that this was personal this was you know something that yeah. I was vulnerable like, and I came to much. you and you're sharing it with somebody yes. else and at that time I didn't equate it you know to like gossip or things like that I just thought was like 
wow, this person yes. is really betraying my confidences. Mm -hmm. And that's too, a lot of times is people are vulnerable, but I think the reason yeah. people don't want to become vulnerable is because there are people out there that do betray their confidence. Yeah. Very true. Well, and we've probably do. all experienced oh, it, yeah. you know, Definitely. as we meet mm -hmm. and we, and we've done this too. And we're meeting with different groups of people talking about your book mm -hmm. and we're finding like so many women are so ready to open up and mm -hmm. to have authentic yes. relationship right. and to be vulnerable. And, um, I just think of my own, I have to be mindful of, when I've been betrayed by someone mm -hmm. like a friend, it's made it hard for me to ever trust that person That's again. True, right, I don't, right. I lack sometimes the grace for that yes. person right, unless right. I know they've done some work to change the kit, the problem with right, the character, right. but yes. that's not necessarily for me to judge, right. you know, and I have to be mindful that we're all on a journey. Exactly. We're all mm -hmm. figuring it mm -hmm. out. And, um, mm -hmm. I mean, I've just, I know myself and I've struggled in that area. Well, then I just decide not to open up. Well, yeah. I've just learned mm -hmm. that's just not a group that I can be open with. I right. can, right. doesn't mean I don't love those people or I can't have a relationship right. with mm -hmm. them, but I do have to have some guarding, but that I, has to be with balance too. Right. So it's always just asking God, right. what do you want me to do here? And I always say it's totally fair to test relationships before you trust them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, you, and okay. we should always do that. And we should. We, we have to guard our hearts and be yeah. careful with the treasures that the Lord has, has the work that he's done in our heart yeah. and who we um, share that with. Yeah, the deposits right. he's made. Right, for and sure. not that there's that saying, you know, I think it says, you know, but, um, when they show you who they are, believe them the first time. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Part of that is mm -hmm. truth, but a part of it too is because mm -hmm. God really showed me there was a person that had unfairly said a lot of things, was really nasty to me in, in relationships, in a group, and it was in a Bible study group, and this person was constantly wounding me, and I was constantly like, huh. And I was actually mopping the floor, and I'll never forget, the Lord told me to get down on my hands and knees, and I was like, uh, I don't mop my floor like that, but I'm like, okay. You know, I kind of prefer to <laughs> use more Pippi Longstocking, put some thumbs on my feet, let me dance and I'll mop the floor all day long but I was really like scrubbing baseboards and things like that and the Lord was really downloading to my heart and he said I was saying you know no sh they showed me who they were I'm gonna trust them the first time and he said wow if I didn't extend you grace for all the things mm -hmm. that you did, you're not extending this grace. You're basing your opinion that this person hurt you in the past and that they're always, always going to hurt you. But what if you used your words and you called them and said, I'm hesitant for this because of this. Mm -hmm. And I did. And Being other people honest. speaking to me were like, oh, don't be honest. This person's not going to take yeah. it. And <laughs> I will tell honest. you, they were like, no, 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 no. This is and I did. I was honest. And I spoke yeah. from my heart and this person received it and it blossomed our relationship and we That's have a better beautiful. relationship today because beautiful. of that. Yeah. So we're That's out of wonderful. time, but we sure hope that you have enjoyed yes. this week's episodes on Bare Naked yes. Truths with Kristen Bonin. <laughs> You're going to be able to get her information. We're going to have some great fun things on our Facebook page, but we hope that you will strip away all the lies that are yes. derailing your destiny and that you will learn to live restored mind, body, and soul. Take care.